What's up, YouTube? Is your boy King Daniax? Welcome to another YouTube tutorial. It's been a while, it's been a while. Uh, it's been a while, it's 2021. 2020 has been difficult, but yeah, let's forget about that year. So, today I'm just gonna show you the basics of skin retouching. I've been requested to do videos of such for a very, very long time. So this is an answer to all those requests. Uh, if you you know how to do skin retouching, then this video is not your is not for you. But if you are new to this photography thing and you wanna learn more, then this is your kind of video, man. This is a kind of video. Uh, I just took a picture from my old projects. One light. It's 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 a one point lighting. It's one point lighting kind of image sort of like a golden hour shoot uh, i have sort of like the softbox on this side it's just a basic shoot never mind how it looks now it, it came straight from capture one and uh, this is the after i'm done processing the raw but this is the before it's not bad i just zoomed in it's not that bad so let's go to photoshop uh, the first thing you're gonna do, uh, you have to go on the description below. There will be a link uh, to a frequency separation setup uh, action, actually. Frequency separation action, which is this one by Prince Mesa. Uh, I downloaded it and then I also quickly put his link on how to download it. After you're done downloading it, then you're just gonna double click it and then it's gonna appear on your actions just go to windows and then select actions yeah and then from actions it's not gonna look like this i just changed this one let me just return how it look it's gonna look more like this these are my actions most of them that i use all the time but yours is gonna be here and then below here so you're gonna click between advanced and basic but me and you are just gonna stick to the basic because you are new to retouching so after you've installed your action, you're just gonna click here and then click play here. And then here, if you are editing a close-up picture like this one, close-up picture like this one, you can do anything, you can set up anything between 14 and uh, above 10, I think to 20, depends on how detailed your image is. But if it's anything uh, from a portrait, that has sort of like distance maybe the subject is in between or something you can just do anything below 10 so i'm just gonna select 18. let's just press ctrl o to fill the screen ctrl minus and then ctrl plus to zoom in okay so after you're done this is your action here make sure you only have the background image here there is not another layer above here so from here, you're just gonna select here. These are your details, and this is your skin, uh, skin, skin texture, skin tones. This is your skin tones, and then these are your details. So usually, I like adding a layer between this, and then just call it Dodge and Pen. Just gonna type DNP something like this and then from here you come to your low frequency which are your tones so from your tones you're just gonna select your low frequency you're just gonna select your low you're just gonna select your low frequency and then from your low frequency we're gonna use the mixer brush tool and the legs lesser tool lesser tool is l on your keyboard mixer brush tool you have to find it down here just select here you're gonna find it around here right click here and then you're gonna find it around here if you don't find it then you have to check it around here but usually mixer brush tool is it will be on your toolbar so select your mixer brush tool and then these are the setups up here wet 10 percent load 51 percent and then mix usually around 100 it depends 
flow also above or low it also depends you can just copy my settings here and then also right click on your mixer brush tool make sure hardness is on zero percent and then the, the the brush size you'll keep on increasing and decreasing while you are painting on the skin so from there to to increase your brush just press your square brackets in and out they are just next to the letter p so let's start with the skin when we use the mixer brush tool we just uh, balancing the skin tone as you can see here it's a bit light but it's not balanced it's light here it's light here it's light here but on the middle is not light enough so we're just gonna paint and balance this as you can see let me zoom in a bit don't overdo it also make sure that you're just blending the skin and then from here this is darks just gonna blend the darks here also here you see the shadow here just gonna remove it there just gonna balance this with the, the tone around it something like this and don't overdo your, your mixer brush tool you can always control Z to undo what you have done so let's just zoom out a bit because also when you do something zoomed in you, you actually make a lot of changes to the skin tone which is something that you can fix after you've done damage so let's just continue just mixing the colors these are the mid tones and the middle tones and then these are the darks just decrease your 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 brush and then increase it a bit just to paint this like this and then this is a bit red here so just do this then you can check before and after before and after not not too much difference that are made but you can do better with time you know because this is a very quick video i'm just going to show you how to do just the basics something like this don't over don't overdo the mixing as you can see this is a bit overexposed you can just uh, pull the tones around it to decrease it to decrease the, the, the exposure this is this is better than before because of play around here you're just mixing the uneven skin tone something like that not too much don't overdo it also here also here I sense there's a skin tone that's not mixed just gonna move fast so we can jump to the next one yeah, let's decrease here yeah? decrease here yeah? let me zoom in a bit control plus to zoom in and do this as you can see here there's a bit of a color bit of a reddish color that i don't like so in order to remove it i'm gonna use this tone here then blend this with this one something like this then from here do the same decrease your brush uh, if you're using a mouse it's gonna take you a while you need to invest on a graphic tablet well Wacom is usually the best mm -hmm. something like this then you can just do this let's take it done with this one now you wanna uh, remove your dark spots and all those things that are usually a problem to the skin but then there's another way also i like mixing the the, the mixer brush tool with also the lesser tool to balance between darks and highlights so now we just select the lesser tool make sure it's, it's the flow is around above 10 and then you just make a circle where the darks and the highlights mix let's take it for here select like this and then you go to filter and then you go to blur gaussian blur and then you just play around with this one as you can see the more i move this the shadow start disappearing but if you overdo this it's going on it's going to also give you a bad look so let's just keep it around below as you can see let's just zoom out a bit so don't overdo this 
think 24 is fine okay also here then same thing go to your calcium player let me just do this let's try and balance this part here calcium player again and press ok if you're wondering how am i doing the calcium player first it's because i created a shortcut in order to create a shortcut you can just come here on edit and then go to shortcut here then from shortcut you come to filter then from filter you just scroll to Gaussian player you see mine is set on f4 f4 is my Gaussian player accept and then okay now you don't have to keep on going up to filter but usually after you're done using it it usually appears here on top here you don't have to keep on going in and out just keep on doing this also it's another way because before i started using the mixer brush tool i was using the lasso uh, the lasso tool so now i'm just gonna keep on doing this the lasso tool used to be the, my favorite tool just to mix uneven skin make sure to don't put it too much on the dark tones because it does affect other things like skin uh, just put this one low it's okay here so if you have done something like this to deselect just press ctrl d to deselect let's zoom in a bit out a bit uh, before and after before and after then from here we come to your high frequency here let's just zoom in a bit high frequency that's where you deal with your dark spot so let's just hide the actions here come here that's where you remove your imperfection something like this as you can see here then you come to your stem stem clone to your clone stamp sorry clone stamp which is this one here yeah, you can just press s on your keyboard how does clone stamp work clone stamp is like you're cloning some uh, this texture here and then you replace it here so also make sure your hardness at least around 40 50 percent so let's try it first you press alt to clone and then you release your alt then you you, you paint where you want to replace alt we're cloning here alt click and then replace alt click replace keep on doing that now and then now and until you finish all the dark spots as you can see alt click alt click clone paste something like this you can see also here alt click and replace alt click release replace you can also make it a bit softer alt click i see it that got there alt click something like this and then from here well once you're done with everything here i want to show you this other trick uh, usually i use it for dodging and burning i can say it's a bit of dodging and burning micro like it's not something serious the best way to do this you come to your curves up here or you can select here and then you come to curves right here and then you drag this part here down low something like this until you see the shadows here it's going to show you where to paint and then you also drag this one up here so it's going to show you the difference between the darks and the highlights so never mind what i just did here you can just bring it up here go to luminosity select here and go to luminosity and just select here and then this is what it's gonna give you the reason why i did that i don't want it to affect the colors so you come to your band here dodge and band and then you come to your brush tool or just press b on your keyboard make sure hardness is always on zero and then make sure your flow is around 10 
up here and then make sure your opposite is also around 30 percent let's just do this then we start painting sorry we start painting don't mind how it's sorry sorry let's just do this also i forgot something forgot something sorry guys press d on your keyboard and make sure here it's black and white we're gonna paint black where it's dark and then white where it's light so to swap between those two you have to press x to swipe and uh, to clean up this if it, there's a different color here just press d it will go to default then from there we're just gonna start with black black is on top that means we're gonna be painting with black okay black let's just paint here don't paint too much just a bit just to complement the skin tone don't overdo it don't overdo it just here just follow the the, the, the curves make sure you are painting here also we might create a dark, a bit of a dark here just to, 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 to follow the nose shadow remember control remember remember your square back has to decrease don't overpaint just we're just gonna do something light not too much just gonna complement the shadows that are already there also here it's not gonna be too much just decrease your brush just paint light then from here also gonna do something like this also decrease your brush here as you can see now we can swipe and go to white and then paint with white here where it's supposed to be white something like this you can also do the same here just for the sake of it and also here for the nose to highlight the nose also here already here it's it's a bit of it's a bit exposed i'm just showing you where to paint most of the time people don't know where to paint then this is how it's gonna look which is not a good look but let's just go back a bit and then hide our curves here then this is how it looks uh, it's not that good but you can make it better just go to your modes here change the normal to soft light soft light and then this is before and then this is after which still is not that good but you can i can teach you something another trick to make the the the, the, the painting softer go to your gaussian blur again something like this then from your gaussian blur just zoom in a bit and then we're just gonna make our paintings a bit softer by increasing the, the, the blur something like this to soft and then from here zoom out a bit before and then after let's blend this with the skin tone let's just go to double click here and then it's gonna open this option layer style and then from layer style make sure it's selected here then you come below here you see what's gonna happen this is this is what you have painted already so let's just decrease in the shift this to the right and see what, what is it affecting it's showing you where you already painted so in order to make it soft and blend with what with the skin tone press alt and click here it's gonna split and then and just move this one a bit not too much just a bit like this then from here and then if it's you feel it's too much just decrease here a bit decrease your opacity just a bit not too much then we are done guys uh, please subscribe to my channel uh leave more requests yes I, i've been getting a lot of requests from people to to do videos like this so i decided i'm gonna do videos like this most of the time i'm busy but yeah there's always time to educate other people stay safe put your mask social distance as you can see this is before and then this is after king denny x signing out when you put a man in a loot or in a bing sass and running a lot to the man she man quail a stage by a shooter